pick up the high the high quality one and the low quality one you can see the size is different hi everyone and welcome back Today is a behind the scenes look at my regular cupping sessions with some of my tea associates. Cupping is such an important part of the tea industry. It's the way we uh, select our teas. It's the way we keep an eye on the freshness of our stock. Cupping is about pushing that tea to its limits to pick out the best qualities and the worst qualities of that tea. Today we're gonna to look at two of my cupping sessions. The first one is with a highly oxidized uh, Taiwanese oolongs, which I call Formosa Bonita. The most commonly known one is a Ruby 18, but today we're going to be looking at 18, 47, 74 and 21. And I'll let you in on a secret, 21 was our favourite. And at the end of every session we always end up with a little bit of nibbles and also tea tasting, the tea that we like the most to get the best out of it. The second session was something very new for me. It was a Sencha Kappa cupping grading session. And that was conducted by Harumi from Okaysan. And she is a certified tea and Japanese tea instructor. And she took us through all those processes. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And at the end of this video, I will come back to you and I'll show you how to download a, a link, uh, download a sheet, I should say that will give you all the instructions on how to cup and what to look for when you're cupping. So see you at the end of this video. We have set up our cupping, the vertical, uh, I'm sorry, the horizontal cupping at the moment. And I've got my friends, they've been busy writing in their logs about the leaf appearance. Um, they're smelling the wet leaf now. So we're halfway through it at the moment. We weighed it at um, three grams for 150 ml of 100 degrees water and we brewed it for five minutes. So it's interesting, um, I feel a little bit biased because I'm aware of these cultivars and I'm half an expectation of what's to come out. But my friends here have not come across all these different cultivars of the Taiwanese darker um, oxidized oolongs so it's interesting to their reactions to all this and all their notes and how we'll be comparing that this is a great thing for anyone that gets into the tea business and that they need to start looking at purchasing tea this is the way to distinguish between good quality and bad quality um, and then once you pick out the teas that you like from there you work back into the best tasting notes for those teas for just everyday drinking so we're about to start sipping the tea as well. I'm going to commence from this end. Hi everyone, back again. As you can see, we're started. I've brought you in for a bit of a closer look at the mess my friends are making. Sorry about that. We're getting the leaves out. We're having a look at the leaves. So our cupping log includes looking at the appearance of the leaf and everything. So they're all coming up with different um, likes and dislikes that they like about the different tea. So it's very interesting to hear. I'm going to come back to you a little bit later. I just thought I'd show you the finishing off of that now. Hi everyone, we're back here today at Pascal's place. And we have Harumi from Okaysan. I think I got that one correct. Yes, yeah, she's nodding at me. And we're doing some Japanese sencha grade cupping. Cupping grade, cup, grade cupping today. And we have been doing, we've gone through, um, and she's taken us from the first up to the next, through five different grades. Now she's going to do chakabuki, chakabuki. So now we're going to be, which is like potluck, and we're blind tasting, and we're going to be checking it all out and seeing how much we've learned, and we're taking our notes. So throughout this video, you'll see um, little bits and pieces of what we've been doing.
Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that small snippet into my cupping world. If you want more information on cupping, the link to my free cupping guide is below. If you want more information for Japanese tea, Hiromi's details are also below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and tell your friends about it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you can get your weekly notifications on my videos. Have a wonderful week, enjoy your tea, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.